You don't know bibimbap until you try koko bibimbap. Wow. Okay, and I'm gonna put the koko in here. It's not that much. You can put some white wine or sake or curry and soju. Kind of gets rid of that smell. Close the lid and wait for three, four minutes. If you cook it for a long time, koko will not taste tender and soft. It's ready. Beautifully open. Mmm, nice. If you cannot handle the spiciness, don't put too much chili or you will die. It's not the most fresh chili, you know, right? Well, what can you do? We're all home chefs, so I didn't want to buy a new chili just because this is a little bit like. So let's use what we have. Pingyang chili is Korean chili. Just put this much. Spring onion. This also is not the fresh, but it's okay. Soy sauce. Sesame oil. Sesame seed as much as you want. Don't be shocked. Four tablespoons of chili powder. I can't say it's not spicy. When Koreans say it's not spicy, don't trust it. Plum extract, very important. It gives very natural sweetness sugar. I'm using anchovy sauce, but it's not mandatory. It will give you like... <coughs> unpleasant fishiness. Can I say fishiness? Of course, when it gets mixed with the other ingredients, it will be fine. But as itself, if you smell it, you want to throw it, okay? But I'm still putting one tablespoon. Uh, cooking syrup or corn syrup kind of thing sesame oil fragrance and the spiciness and some rough wildness from spring onion and a little bit of sweetness breaking down the saltiness by sugar and corn syrup and plum extract Ooh. rice is done well ready to go put this sauce look at that 